Hello everyone, I'm Leon Thomas Lewick. Here's your political news roundup for Tuesday, June 18th. Federal officials jump to the defense of the secret surveillance of Internet usage and phone records. National Security Agency Director General Keith Alexander and Deputy FBI Director Sean Joyce said four specific terrorist plots were prevented, in large part due to information collected in those programs. One such plot involved a planned bombing of the New York City subway system using explosives in backpacks. The officials say dozens of other threats were also uncovered. The surveillance programs have been under attack by privacy advocates since being made public by former defense contractor Edward Snowden. House Speaker John Boehner says serious doubt has been cast on the future of the immigration bill now working its way through the Senate. Boehner said he sees no way of bringing the bill to the House floor if it does not have the backing of a majority of House Republicans. He told reporters the Senate bill is weak on the matter of border security, and he said enforcement measures were almost laughable. Boehner called on the Senate to reach out to Republicans to find more areas of mutual support. Senate leaders are hoping to pass the measure by the July 4th recess with enough bipartisan support to pressure Boehner into moving it through the House. For the first time, representatives of the United States will conduct open peace talks with the Taliban on the future of Afghanistan. The meetings are expected to begin within days. This comes after the U.S. dropped its previous insistence that the Taliban denounce the al-Qaeda organization. The U.S. requested and the Taliban agreed to issue a statement committing itself to oppose the use of Afghan soil to threaten any other countries. A senior U.S. official called the meetings an important first step toward a long road. And there's been progress on reducing gun violence, but it will take help from Congress to bring about significant improvements. That's the message from Vice President Joseph Biden. He said the White House has either completed or significantly moved forward on 21 of 23 executive actions President Obama ordered in the aftermath of the Sandy Hook Elementary School shootings in Connecticut. Biden is hoping to pressure Congress, despite action in the Senate, to reject a weapons bill last April that would have expanded background checks for prospective gun buyers. That's your political news roundup for Tuesday, June 18th. I'm Leon thomas Lewick. Stay logged on to rttnews.com for the latest political, economic, and stock market news from around the world all day long.